dear students today i am going to give you the demonstration of conductometry question mason of acid mixture for this experiment we need some devices chemicals glass vessels etc this is the device instrument called digital conductivity meter this is the conductivity cell which is made up of the two platinum electrodes that is both are made up of a platinum both anode and cathode are made up of a platinum electrodes kept a 1 cm apart having one 1 cm square cross sectional area that is this conductivity cell is specially designed for the estimation of specific conductance so this is a burette we need to take the standard solution of sodium hydroxide this is a beaker containing the acid mixture so this is the beaker containing the sodium hydroxide conductometric sodium hydroxide this is a wash bottle this are this is about this is the small rubber tube which serves as the stirrer mixer so these are the chemicals equipments we require let us begin the experiment first we have to fill the this sodium hydroxide one normal NaOH in this beverage so already we filled it then we have to pipette out 50 ml of the acid mixture acid mixture contain one strong acid like hydrochloric acid one weak acid like acetic acid both strong and weak acid is mixed there into this we have to immerse this conductivity cell this is the conductivity cell i am going to immerse along with the small rubber tube which acts as the stirrer which mix up the solution during the course of conductometric titration this is the pipe then we need to connect this conductivity cell into the conductivity meter we already connected it so let us begin the experiment we have to switch on these two devices it gives some initial conducting values for the acid mixture so let us uh, record the initial value in the table column this is the table column containing two columns so one is volume of NaOH in the increment of 0 0.5 that is 0 to 10 the second one is the conducting value specific conductance this is the initial for the zero addition it is 16.3 16.3 I am uh, recorded here. Let us uh, start the titration by the addition of 0.5 ml of NaOH. So now I am adding 0.5 ml of sodium hydroxide. The reaction mixture has to mix well there. After that let us record this value. Here there will be a gradual decrease in the conducting values. This decrease is due to the replacement of highly mobile hydrogen ions of hydrochloric acid by less mobile sodium ion of sodium hydroxide due to this replacement of the ions there will be a decrease in the conducting values so this decrease we have to record here it is 12.8 12.8 further let us continue by adding another 0.5 ml of the NaOH again it decreases here 12. Ten point three gives so for the one ml it is ten point three. Like this, there will be a continuous decrease in the pH uh, conducting values until the complete neutralization of the weak acid. So at the point of four or four point five, there will be a slight increase in the pH conducting values. That is due to the so formation of the salt between the weak acid and a strong base that is sodium acetate. That means the second acid, weak acid begins to neutralize the weak acid acetic acid begins to neutralize at the end of the titration conductometric titration there will be a sudden rise in the conducting values due to the addition of excess of hydroxide ions from the NaOH that is from the burette the more the OH minus ion greater will be the conducting values so like this there will be a lot of changes initially it decreases after that it increases slightly rises after that suddenly rises after recording all the for 10 ml we have to stop doing the titration this is the observation 0 to uh, 7.5 10 ml this is previous uh, values we recorded here it is uh, 18.6 again here it is 8.7 6.5 again from the 5.6 it gradually changes that is increases from 5.6 to the 6.2 6.7 7.2 then here at this range that is 6.5 there will be a sudden jump but that is from 
10 to 12 10 to 12 this is called a sudden jump this is due to the more number of hydroxide and this small increase is due to the formation of a salt that is sodium acetate salt a strong electrolyte and this decrease is due to the replacement of highly mobile hydrogen ions by less mobile Na plus ions so like this there will be a variation in the conducting values first thing is we have to plot the graph so the graph is plotted like this taking the volume of NaOH in the x-axis conducting value specific conductors in the y-axis so here we are going to get three straight lines here the first straight line decreases like this it decreases the second one is slightly increase third one is sudden rises lot of variations as I already explained here this decrease is due to the replacement of H plus ion by Na plus ion Na plus ions are having less conducting less mobility that is why it decreases whenever the complete neutralization of a hydrochloric acid over then weak acid begins to begins to neutralize so at the end uh, sodium acetate salt will be formed here this is due to the sodium acetate which is a strong electrolyte that, that therefore it gradually rises whenever the neutralization of this weak acid also gets over due to the addition of NaOH here from the NaOH or hydroxide ion it rises so the three straight lines are obtained here the point of intersection of the first and the second one gives equivalence point of hydrochloric acid similarly the intersection of second curve and the third curve gives equivalence point of weak acid so here 2.6 is the equivalence point of hydrochloric acid and 5 is the equivalence point of acetic acid so this is about the calculation here strength of the standard in which is one normal volume of the acid mixture pipetted for our experiment is 50 ml then volume of the NaOH consumed for the strong acid is 2.7 from the graph then strength of the HCl normality of NaOH into this volume divided by 50 it gives some normal from that normality you can calculate the amount of HCl like by calculating by multiplying normality into equivalence point of HCl it gives some reading similarly in the same way we have to calculate the acetic acid strength and we have to write the result like this the amount of HCl present in the given acid mixture is 1.97 gram per dm cube the amount of acetic acid present in the given acid mixture is 2.76 gram per dm cube this is the result how to calculate the amount of strong acid and a weak acid conductometrically thank you